If you're watching this video and you want to prestige and level up in zombies, make sure to smash the like button right now. If you're watching this and you want to level up just so, so fast and prestige so many times, then this video is definitely the one for you because this video contains only the best strategy that there is out there in World War II zombies right now to level up and prestige. So leave a like and comment down below what level you are currently in World War II Zombies. Comment your prestige and level and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today's video I actually have something really cool I wanted to share with you guys and this is basically by far one of the quickest ways if not the fastest way to rank up. This strategy is very very fast to rank up and with this strategy you can actually gain yourself in Zombies a total of 300,000 XP every hour and a half or even under an hour and a half if you're really doing Doing this really quickly and I just can't believe how crazy the strategy is every time I do the strategy solo I managed to gain around five ranks in one game I gain like five levels which is just crazy and this is definitely the fastest ultimate strategy out there so if you're really trying to sweat zombies and prestige a lot and get a lot of levels really fast this is the strategy for you so first of all let's go through how it basically goes down and then what you have to do for the strategy so first of all when you actually spawn in all you have to do is just get a bunch of kills to open the bunker door turn on the power and just all the basic stuff that you normally do every game and keep in mind this is on final Reich so don't think that this is on Grossen House because it's only on the final Reich. So once you've opened up the bunker and turned on the power you can get yourself those two doors, one to the morgue, one to the laboratory and you need to turn on the power from there. You will need to save up enough for the salt mines and then once you've opened up the salt mines you will need to do the step where you basically uh, build a tesla gun so you charge the guy's craft device and if you guys don't know actually what I'm talking about you guys should actually search on YouTube how to do the casual easter egg because you will need to do a few steps from the casual easter egg to actually acquire this tesla gun that you'll need for the strategy and what tesla gun we're trying to get for this exact strategy is actually going to be the hurricane variant of the tesla gun which is actually the purple one that shoots like massive purple orbs so once you've opened the salt mines and you've done the guy's craft device uh, part of the easter egg you will then need to wait till around wave 14 or around then when you will get enough whistlings maybe like three to five whistlings you'll need for the step and basically what you do with the whistlings you bring them into the laboratory and turn on the laboratory trap so they're all in the center and basically you will charge the battery for the hurricane which you will actually get if you guys didn't know how to get the hurricane battery you will need to leave a bomber where the steps are near the laboratory but basically you guys should easily just type in on YouTube how to get the hurricane Tesla gun it's very very simple process and nice and fast and compared to the other Tesla guns this is probably one of the easiest variants of the Tesla guns to get so definitely make sure to search that and then you guys have a clear idea of what I'm talking about but anyway after you've done the whistling step you will then need to go ahead and basically do the lightning rod step of the easter egg where you go to the towers you defend the central lightning rod and the left and the right hand side lightning rod and then basically after you've done that you can then put the battery that you charge with the whistlings into the basically the tesla like making machine the tesla gun making machine i don't know what it's called basically put it into the power trader machine from there on you're basically going to have enough parts to build yourself the hurricane tesla gun and once you've actually upgraded the tesla gun to the hurricane of the tesla gun upgrading station then you will have yourself basically the main thing that you need for the strategy to rank up fast and then i'll carry on the strategy after there so guys if everything I just said to you there sounded like gibberish and it's all confusing it might sound like a lot but it's actually really not so all you have to do is just search on YouTube how to build a hurricane Tesla gun and you're basically good to go from there next I advise you to get four perks and by the way I didn't mention this but earlier in the rounds from about wave 5 and onward onto around wave 15 or 16 you might want to get yourself the melee perk to melee zombies as you guys know melee kills give you more XP they give you 100 XP compared to headshots and body shots that only give you 75 and 50 XP so if you actually try and rack up some melee kills on your way to getting a bunch of points and also building yourself the hurricane tesla gun you'll have even more xp by the end of this all so once you've actually used it up to around wave 17 where it's basically no longer one hit insta kill anymore you might want to swap out this melee perk for quick revive and i suggest getting the following perks quick revive speed cola the stamina perk and also the double damage perk and these four perks will come really useful to you whilst you're actually doing this strategy so basically i actually recommend you keep your starting pistol the 1911 because you will then be able to pack a bunch that for the bacon and eggs and you will actually kind of need this for the strategy not really but i highly recommend getting this but i guess that's kind of optional so once you're actually ready you've got all your perks you've got your guns pack a punch you have got the hurricane tesla gun you're basically good to go for the strategy now it's around wave 20 you should be able to start doing the strategy that's if you do it kind of slow usually i do it around wave 18 19 i actually begin doing the strategy and from here on it's really simple it's really easy and it skips through the rounds really really quickly so where you actually want to go as in the gameplay showing in the background you guys have been watching this the whole time um, you basically just want to stand exactly where I am standing right here so 
the bench right next to the quick revive machine in the spawn room. You basically want to camp in that one little alleyway corner and you're going to aim just under the clock there above the little green box at the far side of the wall right in front of you. And what you're going to do with this Tesla gun is actually wait till the zombies get straight in your face when there's a clear line of zombies in front of you and you're going to fire one bullet of this hurricane and you're going to keep firing when the zombies get close to you. Just keep firing and this basically just insta kills through them and as you can see just wrecks through them all and just rips them all apart and even the whistlings guys I, if you see a whistling in the far uh, just lurking coming towards you I recommend shooting the hurricane maybe twice or maybe three times max to try and kill this whistling because they will start charging so don't worry or don't panic those whistlings will die really easily to this hurricane also I forgot to mention the special you want to run and also the mods you want to run it's going to be free fire obviously we want to try and get that free fire for this test gun so you can shoot it a lot faster every round or anytime you actually do manage to fill up the special meter and talking about the special meter you want to try and, and get specialist training as one of your mods so that you can get your special free fire ability a lot faster to try and get some more tesla gun ammo if you need any because as you know ammo could be a big struggle for this and talking about that moving on to the next mod we actually have resourceful which will help you get a lot more ammo a lot more drops such as full meter that you'll use for your free fire potentially even insta kill if you're running in low on your hurricane ammo you can easily pull out your bacon and eggs and just start spraying them everywhere and the final mod you want to use is going to be fully loaded so you get the maximum ammo you can have in your bacon and eggs and basically any gun that you use from there on so I suggest using that exact layout I'll put a picture on the screen if you guys forget you guys can just basically screenshot this or copy this as to one of your loadouts and you're good to go for the class so back to the actual strategy what you're going to have to do is just aim simply at that wall like I'm doing the whole time basically doing uh copying the routine that I'm doing right here will guarantee you guys a lot of XP now guys you will notice that these rounds skip through a lot quicker than they usually do normally and this is just because they're all spawning in that room at once because that's where you're currently at all the zombies spawn near to you and you're basically killing them all as soon as they spawn with making this like a really really easy round skipping strategy I guess if you want to get to higher waves this is definitely another strategy because this strategy I usually do to around wave 50 and that takes me around an hour to do to get from wave around 20 to 50 in an hour just using the strategy and it's really really simple also you will see a lot of bombers just exploding in your face and damaging you and potentially even almost taking out your shield and don't worry guys I know I do this a lot but I sometimes run out when I'm too scared that I'll lose a shield or I'll die because of the bombs but however you guys don't need to panic or worry you just need to stay there stay calm stay collective and you will be good to go just trust me on this the bombers won't kill you unless there's literally like 500 of them spawning at once but make sure you only do this strategy till around wave 50 then you could restart the process just end the game make yourself go down and you can easily redo this every single game and you will notice within no time you'll be getting 300,000 XP in around an hour and a half after each one of these strategies or games that you do with this strategy and you will just gain a crap ton of XP and I'm telling you guys this is probably the best strategy out there to actually level up and prestige fast in zombies and if you're worried about the Brenner zombie the big flamethrower Brenner zombie that comes every like seven to nine rounds then you guys don't need to worry just make sure to pop your free fire and then just keep spraying him in around three or four bullets of the hurricane Tesla gun he will be dead and obviously once you see a max ammo just make sure to run for that and remember that pest rounds are every five rounds so you're good to go if you manage to make it to one of them you can even use your bacon and eggs sometimes if you don't feel like you want to waste your Tesla gun ammo for whatever reason or if you're just running low in general so this is a really easy strategy make sure to run out for those fuel meters but I guarantee you guys that if you try this method out you will be leveling up in no time and this is by far the best strategy you've ever used if you actually manage to go ahead and try it however guys that's all I wanted to say for this video I just wanted to share this with you guys because I've seen a lot of top players doing this not a lot of many people know about this but a lot of top players actually use this strategy one of the top ranked players actually called bleach is needed he was the one that kind of showed me this like he was the first person i watched do the strategy and i found it really cool so i started doing it also so props to him i'll leave a link to his channel in the description go subscribe to him because he is literally like the best world war 2 zombies player that i've seen so far so yeah you can go subscribe to him see how he does it also because he bla he basically just streams every day showing the strategy to people that watch his streams and he can basically go through if you really want to see a full in-depth tutorial then make sure to go to his channel however this is going to be it remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and i will see you all in the next video and peace.